In 1965, Olene Emberton was found dead in a ditch next to a quiet cornfield. There's a new book coming out. It's putting new attention on her memory and the mystery of her death. Two miles outside of Tipton, the gravel road hasn't changed much since the 17-year-old high school senior was found naked in a ditch, her clothes neatly folded nearby. I try to imagine what it was like that night for whoever, you know, put her out here. Janice Thornton was a classmate. The title of her book is a quote from Olene's mother. My daughter was too good a girl for her to have to face death this way. Olene and a boyfriend saw a movie at the Deanna Theater. She took him home. Her car was found the next morning blocks from her house. A farmer found her body. Police never determined a cause of death. There was just this, this darkness that just kind of came over everybody. The case was never solved. Thornton couldn't let go of the mystery. The thing that surprised me was that nobody really seemed to know her, that she was that reserved and quiet. But more than 50 years later, people in Tipton haven't forgotten Olene's suspicious death. People are coming up to me and say, oh, I, I remember Olene. In fact, I saw her that afternoon, you know, her last day. Thornton hopes her book thaws a very cold case. This will jar some memories loose for somebody uh, to come forward and maybe come forward with the, the, the clue that's going to break the case open. Two months ago, a Tipton County detective interviewed a person of interest, a convicted killer now in prison. Fifty years ago, he didn't have anything to say about Olene Emberton's death. He's not saying anything now. In Tipton, Rich Van Wyck, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. That book, Too Good a Girl, goes on sale next month. There's a book signing at the Tipton County Public Library that is set for Saturday, August 4th. The proceeds will help fund a scholarship program in Olene's memory.